We're back on SEW. Oh my god. How many people are we gonna start the match off with a smack to the face? I don't know, but this is this is the debut of Call Arthur, the the SEW North Atlantic champion, and there's Ted Daniels also making his debut. <sighs> what? What? Are you okay? You just like <laughs> gasped for air and then went silent. Who me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Are you dying? No. <laughs> Either way, uh, <laughs> Cold Arthur's getting knees to the leg. He might wish he was dead after that. <sighs> oh god, what oh, is he no. going for? Oh no. The wannabe KFC right. gave oh, him no. a big another, bucket of chicken. Another chicken punch. Oh. <laughs> wanna be KFC, wanna be Colonel Sanders, I apologize. Bro, he got, so bro, he got the legs knocked off his chicken. <laughs> <laughs> bro got them boneless chicken wings. <laughs> he keeps targeting those chicken legs. Oh, another drop kick. Tossed into the corner for McCult Arthur and with chopped. a chop to the chest. Throws him out of the ring. What, what are we about I, to see is here? This a, is this a DDT or a drop kick? DDT. Uh, DDT from the from in between the bottom and middle rope well turnbuckles I should say that hurt his chicken sandwich <laughs> now just delivering stomps up oh, countered the, legs. I didn't know that was the Colonel was Sanders it. looking like Ted Daniels counters you know, it is said that Ted Daniels always wanted to eat KFC as a child, so now we idolize this Colonel Sanders. He, you can see he idolizing the KFC logo with those white and red pants. To be fair, I think that's like the color of chicken. <laughs> My god, that KFC gave him power, because I heard there was a lot of KFC in the back. He probably ate all of it. Yeah, well, Ted Daniels might have got that power, but it doesn't count because Colt Arthur just sent him flying over the top rope. Oh, what is Colt Arthur gonna go for? A diving crossbody! A diving crossbody! My god! Kick to the gut. <laughs> <Big count. laughs> Wait, what was he going for? <laughs> probably a shoulder tackle, maybe? He just like jumped, got smacked in the back of the head, and then landed on his feet. I didn't know Colonel Sanders was a cat. Furry! Chris would have said furry too. Chris is addicted to furries. Ted Daniels lifting him up for what it looks to be his suplex. What now? Is this a Samoan drop? No, white noise. Eh, it's essentially a Samoan drop. Count of seven from the ref. Yeah, maybe the ref forgot how to count, because I don't feel like he's been out there for, for seven. It's been like 12. Giant lariat to the back of the head from Ted Daniels. Cover? I don't even think that's going to be a two. It wasn't. I'm surprised that that's a one count at that. Uh, oh, the, the man just gave him the four-piece chicken nugget. <laughs> now what's he going to give him? Oh, no. Oh, he's, he no, ran he's, into a crossface. <laughs> My God. He calls it the chicken sandwich. <laughs> he's deboning the chicken. <laughs> Call Arthur gets out of the chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, big back elbow right there. He Going fried that chicken. <laughs> Calling them up from the second rope. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. I think that's the first time we've seen chickens fly. <laughs> 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 oh, chickens are going to fly again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he he no. went into a chicken ball right there. 
Oh! There's so <laughs> many chicken puns! There's almost more puns about chicken than there are feathers on a chicken! My god! Oh, oh he counters the suplex. Big Larry to the back of the neck. Close the back of the neck. I don't know what he's going know for. Yeah. Chop. Right hook, chop. What is uh, he doing now? <laughs> Man was just standing by the ropes, and if the ref didn't see that rope break, I'm sorry, he's blind. That would have been a Palestini and Deborah Janet incident all over again. And now delivering another one, but this time on the floor. Oh my god, this is not smart. He has a submission as a finisher. Oh no, he doesn't. Not on the outside. Spinning Uranagi. Now throwing him in the ring. Macaroni with the chicken sweats. Throwing, throwing him in the ring just to cover him. One, two, Dude. and a oh, kick no, out. Jason. This match has been all Ted oh. Daniels. The Colonel Sanders wannabe. It's been all his uh -oh. game. Now the chicken sandwich is applied. The, the chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich is applied. Is he going to tap to the chicken sandwich? The chicken sandwich. <laughs> Will the chicken sandwich win? <laughs> Will the chicken sandwich He's give him the He's shaking his hands. He wants out of that chicken sandwich. You're not getting out of the bread. Oh, <laughs> I think he's finding out the chicken sandwich. As you see, Ted Daniels has a bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he applied too much pressure with, pressure with the chicken sandwich. Oh. <laughs> the double chicken wing suplex. <laughs> Drop kick to the leg. Cover. <laughs> I, I don't know about that Two. cover. That's I all she knows. <laughs> Counter gut kick crowd is saying both these guys, but oh, both gosh. these guys Hasn't even did anything to impress. Uh oh Exploder <laughs> uh, Penning him off the exploder suplex. Maybe that chicken sandwich <laughs> weakened him enough to get a pinfall Apparently not. <laughs> oh, that chicken sandwich is brutal though Uh oh. One clothesline. A uh, two, two clothesline. A uh, trifecta. <laughs> of clotheslines. The clothesline trifecta connects. Oh. Uh, for a super kick. Uh, not go for a knee. knee. Lifts him up. Fireman's carry it's position. Fireman's carry position. Ted Daniels just gets hung up on the top turnbuckle. He's getting choked that out in the corner. Oh, oh no! The chicken uh, sandwich to Ted Daniels. <laughs> Ted Daniels is putting his own chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants that chicken now. Uh. He wants that chicken sandwich. I think he might have a new point of view on KFC after that. <laughs> oh, what a suplex. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> another. The chicken right. <laughs> the chicken strong right. <laughs> Going after those hamstrings. <laughs> headbutt. Uh, giant headbutt from Ted Daniels on the floor. <laughs> He's going for a second one. Told Arthur might start bleeding after all these headbutts. <laughs> he runs into a snap dragon suplex. Another giant knee to the face from Ted Daniels. I feel like the crowd is favoriting Ted Daniel so far. What well, can I say? They like the chicken strips. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! What? A submission of his own! Both Kinda. Arthur's walking in an arm bar. Isn't that a triangle arm bar? That might, even, that might just be a triangle choke, but... Count of eight. Yeah. 
I'm probably gonna get corrected about that, but it's fine. No! Is it gonna end up in count out? They both get in at the count of nine! Ducks under! Oh. He's taunting, I don't know if that's the best idea. Uh oh. Dragon screw! I think if Colt Arthur gets locked in the chicken sandwich one more time, it's over. <laughs> Cover! This could be over. Two! Three! <laughs> he gets ended off of a dragon screw! We wanted to Bro. see the chicken sandwich for the third time, but instead, I don't think Colt survived enough long enough for that. <laughs> The the, yeah, the Colonel Sanders inspired to be wins his debut. <laughs> you know, I think that for M on Ted Daniels' uh, stomach means that he can eat about as much chicken as four uh, grown men. Probably. <laughs> so this match just came up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what's going on with these two, but you know what? Some beef from the new SCW World Champ and the SCW IC Champ. Man, I'm never going to get used to seeing him hold that title. Winning on his debut for the new title? I'll say one thing. With Syndicate Prince being the longest running world champ, it's weird to see that title on someone else. It really is. But Not to mention, it's weird to see it on this thing. That thing is like a hyper giant on cocaine. <laughs> he took like 19 baseball bat shots to the face last night and he survived without a concussion not even that he also took two still steps to the face might have even been three but it was counting but you know what's worse than that guy this guy is even worse I'd rather deal with a hyped up cocaine giant than this thing. One of the only two men to retain his title last night. Here comes carrying crimes. Bro. I hate carrying crimes. The douchiest guy in this company. The you most spoiled guy in this company. He was giving Syndicate Prince a hard time last night uh, in the back about, you know, losing the world title to Galaxy. But we can't forget that Syndicate Prince still has his rematch clause that he, he can call in whenever he wants. And also, we have to make a huge announcement before the match begins. SEW to the top will be coming soon with the Royal, with the big rumble and the big contract up the ladder match. Yeah, don't have the good names for them. Yeah, I forgot where it is. William might know, but. All we know is winner of that rumble gets a title shot. Gets a title match of his choice at the next pay per view after over the top at over after to the top and and then that money in the bank. Well, the contract winner we should say can cash in on any champion at any time within the next year. Yeah, yeah, kind of. So, we're kind of killing two. Two, st two birds with one stone in the next pay-per-view, but don't worry, the next pay-per-view will be full of great action, just like how Galaxy is getting toppled by carrying crimes. Who do you hope to see win in this match? 
I hope Galaxy wins, but yet again, you know, Carrion is just so aggressive. Yeah, that is true. That would be instant karma for Carrion. He was talking all that smack about Syndicate Prince losing to Galaxy, and then the night after, he loses. Oh, well, another big there. pump forearm. One, and a kick out from Galaxy. Oh, yeah. On that note, I just was informed about where the next pay-per-view is. It's going to be in Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, to the top. SEW coming soon. Just be on the lookout for that. I would say get your tickets, but who am I kidding? This is going to be uploaded for free. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> We should just call them free purviews. Free purviews? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't gotta pay for them anymore. They're just not been, pay per views. Just been thrown. Carrion getting thrown into oh. the corner. <laughs> It looks like Galaxy went for a knee, but failed. Uh-oh. Face buster. <laughs> Galaxy's busted open. Cover. Galaxy is being, being squashed this match. You know, this isn't a good look for our world champion. Uh-oh, Galaxy's in the counter. I don't think I've seen counter. anyone get squashed this hard. <laughs> Galaxy seen the counter, knees to the face, doesn't even phase Carrion. I think that was a drop kick, William. Well, <laughs> well that was a big For, pump kick. That, yeah, that was a big <laughs> pump kick. <laughs> oh, and heaven bridge together. Calling him up. This could be a quick match. Drops him with the cross line. Cover. One, two. I think the cry oh. right just rose. <laughs> it went over the bar with that one. Going to the top rope, he gets a diving elbow drop. Well, attempted to. A DDT. That's what ended up against that match with Cyrus. <laughs> oh yeah, Carrion doesn't have a good record with DDTs. He's gotta watch out for those. Another DDT this time to the foot. Oh, now getting covered off of what ended him before. Oh, two. <laughs> oh, that's a three. Oh, that would have been ironic. Spanish fly. The second time. Standing, Standing shooting, star. shooting star. That's a beautiful move. They takes a lot of skill to perform. Oh, springboard, springboard drop kick. kick! I almost said springboard flop kick. <laughs> Looks like Galaxy is starting to rally. Hit some with another drop kick. That's some standing. And now Don't another DDT. DDT. Carrion does not seem to be doing too hard. Uh oh, somersault on Prettier. This is what won him the world title last night. One, two, two oh. three. No. That would be the funniest thing if Galaxy won. <laughs> it would. Oh, a big clothesline it over the top goes Galaxy. Again. Galaxy might, you know, Carrion might have just sent a preview of what he plans to do at the Rumble. If he's in the rumble. <laughs> We're only going to have a 10-man rumble, so we don't know who's going to be in it. It might even be a 20-man. Yeah, all I know is there's supposed to be big debuts in that rumble. Big surprises. Maybe, maybe even some champions in there. Up cover! One, two, oh. 
Almost got pinned off a roll up. I have nothing to say about that. Uh, Another cross line. He really loves raising those crime rates. It's got to be over. One, two, two three. three. He just got put in the slammer by carrying crimes. We're going to see a sign of sportsmanship. You know, I, I don't expect this out of carrying. I don't. But he's done it twice now. He did it with Zeke on the debut show of SEW, and then... And now here tonight with the world champ. Tremendous respect with each other, although I don't know how you can respect someone that you squashed. Here come. I'm pretty sure this is the Dark Brothers. Yeah, this is the Dark Bros. They're scheduled to fight against uh, the anarchists. A little bit of a rematch from last night. No, with as well as those two know each other, they should not have lost last night. Yeah. But like we've said before, the anarchists are great when it when they're close together. I'm not gonna lie, that sounded a little weird, but. Uh... <laughs> This is a PG show. <laughs> I don't even think that was PG. But that's besides the point. Um, yeah, the anarchists do work together together well, so maybe they can come out with another big win against the tag team champs two nights in a row. Maybe they can. <clears throat> Devon Dark, death himself. Bro, who is this? These aren't the anarchists. <laughs> These aren't the anarchists. Who's this? Th this is supposed to be the anarchists. They were scheduled to fight. Uh, this isn't... I, I don't understand what happened. This isn't the anarchists. Were the anarchists jumped in the back or something? Wait, I'm getting word. Turns out, the anarchists were being jumped by Chris and Zeke, and Chris and Zeke are upset about their loss last night, and they're looking at new, they're looking at the new tag team gold, and they're wanting a piece of it. Is this even legal? Can they just come out here and take the spot of another team? Is this even official? I don't even think this is official. Is there a ref out there? Zeke's got to watch out, too. He's got an injured leg. The medical team in the back said if he takes any really big bump to his uh, left leg, he could tear his ACL. I'm guessing this match is official. All right, there's a ref out there. I don't know how this became a thing. All right, Bye. well, here we go. Oh, immediately a crop, an arm bar from Devon Dark. And immediately Zeke knows he got to get out of the way. Famous -er. Famous -er. Zeke is famous, sir. He had trouble landing that last night, but he did triple to find out. Oh, he's getting damaged to the leg already. I'm not quite oh. sure if that's the same leg that he's been injured on, but... Either way, he just wants to protect both of those legs. He doesn't want one to become injured or one to have to put him out of action. 
Uh oh. Uh, this isn't good. Oh, a giant seeded lariat. Uh. Stunner stopping him from making the tag. Two. Looks like Chris isn't even bothering to help Zeke at all this match. I don't know why Dimitri just let Zeke tag. Chris lighting up Dimitri with the combos. Northern lights bomb. But that was kind of suspicious, don't you think? Chris wasn't helping him out to break up the covers at all. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication, but... Uh oh. We won't know. We don't know what's going on in the mind of Chris, especially after Zeke was pinned. Wasn't Zeke pinned? Uh, yeah, Zeke was pinned. Cause remember, Chris got X factored on the on the state on the oh, ramp. Oh yeah, that's right. He might be a little angry with Zeke right now, cause he is the reason that they don't have tag gold. That's besides the point. That's another springboard clothesline from Chris. If they plan to come out with a win, they really need to be working as a unit and not have miscommunication. This is the Dark Brothers' second match as a team. This is, well, at least here in SEW, but this is Chris and Zeke's third. Bringing him to the corner. Countered. Punched oh, the back. Zeke punches him in the back of the head. Devon Dark just executes a giant suplex uh, and is he going for a trifecta? Dos! Here's Thress. Three amigos and a kip up afterwards. Homage to the late great Eddie Guerrero. And now another, another stunner. stunner. The funny <laughs> thing is, we've seen Chris do quite a few of those in the past. Yeah, we have. Frequent tags from the Dark Brothers. They learn from their mistakes. Because they uh -oh. were isolated a lot last night. <laughs> but that doesn't matter about isolation when Chris has a single uh, leg Boston Crab locked in on Dem Devon. Oh, that's a Dimitri. I don't know what Devon was going for there. Giant kick to the face from Chris. Devon kicks up. He went for that Hurricane Rana that he uses so much. Devon wants no part of him. Smart by Devon, tagging in the fresher man. Another stunner from Dimitri. Dimitri loves those stunners. I know. Oh, I think he barely caught him, but it was enough to bring him to crashing to the ground. I think Zeke might have hit those still steps. Knee straight to the abdomen of Zeke. Oh, he's getting tossed right back into the ring. I don't know if Dimitri wants him to be there. Dimitri goes for the top rope. He uh, went for a diving famous or maybe even a um, nothing but net, but Zeke moved faster than he could uh, have expected. Cartwheel, drop kick. Cartwheel, drop kick from Dimitri, showing that athleticism. Uh, uh, level for them. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Giant kick to the face on Zeke. Zeke's busted open. Zeke putting him up on the shoulders. He went for that inverted Samoan drop that he was using. He hit him with, Dimitri hit him with an overhand drop. Now he's looking to put him in the corner, maybe to make a tag. Uh, oh, now Zeke gets a little payback. <laughs> oh, giant spinning hip kick. Now roll Plus up. I don't know what the rest doing. Ref needs to do his job. He was <laughs> staring at Chris jumping in the ring. Sit out power, power bomb, bomb from Zeke on D <coughs> Dimitri. I and they are so close together that I get their names mixed up. <laughs> they look they dress similar too. Very similar, but right now Don Mike tar targeting the limbs of that hand and now delivers 
double knees to the back. Normally, the, the Dark Brothers would be delivering knees. Oh, he went for another stunner, but he missed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, that attitude adjustment. Oh. oh, he reversed it. Got caught with a lethal combination right there. Very lethal. Dimitri's tagging in Devon. Devon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Devon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Big boot right there. Zeke ain't looking too good. I don't know what that was. It looked like a fisherman suplex, but... Zeke has already had damage to his head. A lot in this match. He's making the smart decision and tagging in Chris. I don't know what Chris was doing. He's already just jumped at Devon. Tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. Dra Dragon suplex. You know, Zeke didn't even attempt to break it up. They really need to get on the same page or we're going to see some major flaws in this match with the game. Uh-oh. Chris went for the Bunny Destroyer or the Canadian uh, Destroyer. Big and the Gurry. Ooh. High Angle Exploder. Well, uh... Zeke finally does something. I think Devon was going for the single leg, uh, single knee code breaker. It's caught with a big drop kick. Uh oh, it looks like he's going to deliver another one. Chris moves out of the way just in time. Oh. Chris really needs to make a tag to the fresher man. I think he heard me, or that might just be tag team intuition. Hill the World EDT delivered on Zeke from Devon. Is that enough to end it? One. Nope. <laughs> One count. That's all Zeke was going to give him. Stalling gut wrench suplex. Devon just showing the power. Devon sort of looks like he's limping a bit. Maybe <laughs> uh, Zeke's a little too heavy. Uh oh. Cutter. Uh, another rolling cutter. Man, I'm getting real tired of seeing a rolling cutter. Another dragon suplex delivered to Zeke. Uh, but his feet was all over those ropes. Oh, Zeke's normally performing that. Drop the punches to the face of Zeke from Dimitri. Oh, he's just, just... Oh, Zeke counters with elbows to the gut. Knee to the gut, kick to the gut, elbow to the head, kick to the leg, knee to the face. <laughs> and now, Dimitri with a boot to the face of his own. Chris bringing up the tag, now they're starting to work together. But I don't know what how that how uh -oh. that makes him feel. Uh oh, this time Dimitri's delivering an inverted exploder. Uh oh, That's high angle exploder, not inverted. Oh, uh, Devon distracted the ref long enough for him to go and break up the pen. Devon jumps out smart. Zeke was getting ready to go and knock him out. I guarantee it. Rope rebound. German. A Good high bridge on that. Two. Kick out. Or probably that was broken up. Can't really oh, tell. Oh, Zeke hits Devon with a hurricane runner. Fisherman suplex. Is Devon legal or is Dimitri? I think Dimitri's legal. Yeah, Dimitri's legal. Oh! oh! 360 code breaker. It's broken up instantly, though. 
what? Uh oh, he looks to be going for another one. He lands another one. Chris might be knocked out. But again, Zeke is just right there. Oh my God! Now what is Dimitri going for? He went for a coup de gras. He went to deliver a dagger straight to the chest of Chris. Uh, oh, well, that was a nice combo from Dimitri Dark. Ended that off with a big super kick. Now Devon wants a piece of Chris. I will say the Dark brothers love their knees. <laughs> So yeah, I, he almost, my point proven. <laughs> he tried to give Chris a name right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. He failed he was, it the last time. Can he land the attitude adjustment this time? He, he lands does. it. But cover. He's, he's in his corner One, too. Two. Oh. That doesn't matter. Dimitri, knocked, Dimitri hit the ref in the process. The crowd Chris and Zeke wrestling. should be using this to their advantage. The crowd chanting tag team wrestling. Kuda Gras. Kick to the head, kick to the leg, chop. Oh. I don't even know what he did because, you know, camera. Oh. Chris was running at him, then he changed his mind. <laughs> Thank you, Maybe he should have went through with it. Omega Driver! Got dropped right on his head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta cut that part. Yeah. My god, he, mi he missed completely. But, Zeke is down on the outside. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I don't know what that was going for. Oh. I don't know what Chris did. He caught the leg, and Dimitri or Devon made him pay for it. Oh. Jesus Christ. Looks like he was waiting for him. Uh oh. That, <laughs> that was a stupid decision from Dimitri. That was a stupid decision from Zeke coming right there. <laughs> it really was. Chris will be really upset if Zeke gets pinned again, I can guarantee it. Oh! And that might just happen. 360 card breaker. One, two. Oh! Zeke gets a big kick out. He does just, not want to disappoint his uh, teammate again. Just barely kicking out, though. Oh! Oh! Just sneeze to the spine. He goes for the diving flip stop again. This time he connects. Oh, what's he's going, going back up now? to the top. The spinning frog splash. One, two, two. Oh, that was a big kick out. Zeke is glad that happened. Chris probably would have been furious. Big knee. Yeah, very big me. <laughs> I don't know what he was going for there, but Zeke had it scouted. Speaking of scouted... There's that rolling cutter. That no one seems to know how to counter. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, the athleticism from Zeke. Zeke's probably dragging him away from the ropes to get a more effective pin. I don't know if that's smart, though. Chris better get in the ring. Uh-oh. The meat? I mean, D Devon is going over the top. I'm sorry, guys. Their names are very confusing. <laughs> Y'all are going to see more over-the-top oh. action coming up at that new pay-per-view coming soon. Or should I say free purview? Free, free purview.
just delivering more double knees to the back after targeting the limbs. Chris going right back after the arm. Jeez, that could break a man's arm. Yeah, Chris is too weak. <laughs> Big cross line right there. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Chris tried to show off his athleticism, but he paid for it. Up. Oh. He I paid for it. Called. He paid for it deeply right there. Deeply. <laughs> Oh no. Zeke wound up that punch for no reason. Oh. Another double knees to the face from Dimitri. No One, one's been able to scout two. that. Oh. Now is driving that his knees. What is Devon doing out there? At Brunel Bridge together. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to come out victorious in this match? Better yet, who do you want to come out victorious in this I match? I feel like the Dark Bros might come out. Honestly, I don't want to see Chris and Zeke win. I think... Oh, Jesus! Chris better watch what he's doing. He about just threw Devon on uh, Zeke. <laughs> I don't know why he would tag back in Dimitri, but I guess Dimitri wants to do some more work. Oh, Dimitri, Dimitri counters. Frank with tags here. Devon gets tagged in. Uh oh. Recoil! He just got bounced off the knee of Devon. Dimitri sort of just stood there. You know, what would you do if you were in the situation to where every time you got, went for a pinfall, it was broken up by their team? I would get rid of the other teammate. Either isolate their other teammate or go for a submission. You can make them tap a lot faster most of the time. Especially if the match has been going on oh. for a uh, And I think he heard us when we said that you'd have to get rid of the other person. I think this match is coming to an end. I think this match might be over. Oh, high angle exploder suplex! I think it's <laughs> over for Zeke. I think it's over. One, two, three. Yeah, he's three. not kicking out. The Dark Bros. Uh oh! Who's this? Oh no! It looks like they've recovered from their post ma their uh, backstage attack. This was supposed to be their match. They're it looks like they're calling out the champions and they're just telling them to bring it. The anarchists want gold. They lost their gold last night. I don't know what Dimitri's doing, but that's questionable. <laughs> now this was a shocking result last night. Pasadena gave it her all, but Deborah came out with the win. Debra walking with hardware. Yeah, for the first time in her SCW career. Debra is the exact definition of a Hellbringer. <laughs> you look it up in a dictionary, it says says Debra Janet. <laughs> currently assigned to SCW. Now this is her opponent looking for revenge. This is the goddess of darkness herself. And 
What is she doing? Strumming a guitar? <laughs> oh, you gotta love that entrance. This is the first time we've seen her enter without hardware. I hear is aggressive breathing. Well, I don't know what you hear because that's not me. Oh yeah, who is it? Your brother? Did your brother just walk up to your headset and start breathing in it? <laughs> Probably. Crash landing. Crash landing. Uh oh. Yep, got range suplex. Deborah does not want to let Palestini do anything. Again, that rematch clause factor falls for every single champion who lost their title. Indeed it does. Uh-oh, cover. Off of a stomp to the face. Two. Two? That was a two count? Oh. DDT. Big DDT right there. Alrighty, going after the arm. You know what's crazy? Surprising that Palestini is a technician. She got her first ever victory in SCW with a pinfall. Yeah, you know, that is surprising. But she d it's not like she didn't try to go for a submission. She that tried multiple times. Every match she's in to go for a submission win, but she just hasn't been able to get it off. That is true. Maybe she can get it off tonight. Then again, she's been fighting the likes of the current uh, Warfare Women's Champion, Deborah Janet, and the former Thunderdome World Heavyweight Women's Champion, Delicious. She just got planted on the floor, kind of five. Was nailing atomic drop. Uh, what? I'm surprised. We want to speak about power from Deborah Janet constantly, but. That takes a lot of power from Palestini. Kind of seven. Kind of Gets seven. In the ring. Takes. You never did. Stomps. A kick to the gut. What's she going lock. for? Hammerlock. Suplex. Suplex. Cover. A forceful kick out. She went for the Black Widow. Deborah had it scouted. Uh oh. Big suplex. Yeah, she's been locked in like five times. One. I don't think she wants to feel it again. She's not going to get any more than a one count out of Palestini. Never mind. Slam. Sidewalk slam. That's at least a two. One. Two. Kip up. That didn't get is there anything good. That she kipped up right into a choke slam. Or oh, making sure she doesn't even grab the ropes. You know, Palestini has not been able to have that choke slam scouted at all. Indeed not. Again, an aggressive kick out. Uh oh. GG driver.
This match won't end off count out, will it? Count of six. Deborah's still on the outside. Deborah gets in the ring at the count of six. Oh, giant forearm in the back of Palestini. Big elbow. Flapjack! Giant flapjack. That took power. Bell clap. Oh, man. Bell clap. We know it follows. The last chancery. Up oh, those toes. Those those big toes. D those. <laughs> why are you looking at her feet? <laughs> those big toes got the rope. Another. Bro, Derek. Bro, Derek. And another cancellation. <laughs> Hit Deborah Janet with a big hammerlock suplex and now went for maybe the Black Widow. Might have been the wing clipper, but either way, she failed. Seated drop kick. Seated drop kick. Uh oh. She oh. had the chokeslam scouted. Neck breaker. Neck breaker. Black Widow! Black Can Widow! Can we see her first submission victory? Nope. We Turns can't. it into a sidewalk slam. Catches the leg. She seems to have everything scouted so far that Deborah's throwing at her. Wing Clipper! Could she get her first fair victory? Fair? Fair, fair, you fair. Know what I mean by fair. <laughs> One, oh, the ref two. cheated Deborah. Oh, Deborah got out of that. Any more damage like that, though, she won't. Uh oh. Tugging the leg now. Uh oh. This is never good. Swanton! Deborah moved. Giant drop kick to the face of Palestini once again. Deborah might have taken herself out. Yeah, I think Deborah might have landed awkwardly. She pulled a Nia Jax there. Big seating lariat. Oh, just stepping on Palestini. Deborah, get off her. You're gonna kill her. Another another clothesline. So Grab lines into a load sweep. Oh. oh, roll up. One, two, three. Three. She wins off a roll up. Deborah is shocked. <laughs> Palestini wins with a roll up. Deborah's arguing with the ref. She thinks it's false judgment. <laughs> Palestini gets the win over Deborah Janet, the new world champion. In an champ. instant classic. <laughs>